So last week we talked about the warrior who lost the fight. But today, we'll be talking about the conqueror, the king, the, the man who forged an empire the likes of which this world had never known and perhaps never will again. A man who changed the very course of history itself, who reshaped the Western world for a millennia and made us all descendants of his legacy. Barack Obama. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, t today we're, we're speaking of the second of the nine. Today, we speak of Alexander the Great. Born to King Philip II of Macedonia, played by Val Kilmer, and Queen Olympias. In the year 356 BC, that means before Christ, the story of Alexander is one of almost mythic status. You know, perhaps it was you know, being raised by a father who dared to challenge the Persian Empire. Perhaps it was being mentored by legendary philosopher Aristotle himself from the age of 14 to 16. Or perhaps, as I suspect, God himself had bestowed upon Alexander a measure of resolve, a wisdom, and a passion that was infectious in nature, that allowed a boy at the age of 20 to assume the throne of a kingdom, and with 11 short years, managed to topple one of the greatest empires the world had ever seen. The Persian Empire, to be exact. A thousand nations of the Persian Empire descend upon you. Now, I myself, at the ripe old age of 26, like to think I'm more accomplished than most at this stage of my life. Right? Having found my faith again, lost 120 pounds, and gotten my college degree. You know, it was, it was certainly, certainly no small accomplishments by today's standards. Granted, I, I, I do still have a few things left on my to-do list before I hit 31. Oh, well, in all seriousness, uh, how many of us at times have looked to the greats, looked to the legends, the myths, the heroes of history, and not felt small in comparison? Not felt as though greatness itself was some ideal that we could never attain? And as such, perhaps even let any aspiration or hope for greatness slip away from our hearts until it had become nothing more than a faded memory of a dream once dreamt so very long ago. But Alexander's greatness, his virtue, it didn't lay in building an empire. It wasn't set atop the defeat of the Persians. No, no, his greatness laid instead in the men whom he led, the men whom he inspired. Average, everyday young men, not all that different from ourselves, I suspect. A people who were subjugated, pushed down by others and themselves, who again, like us, simply accepted for so long that the world could not be changed, that greatness was always out of reach and so far away from their hearts. But Alexander, a mere boy, perhaps with a boy's heart, awoke in his people that dream they longed to dream once more. That taste for greatness, that taste for virtue, that taste for freedom, freedom from it all, from doubt, from fear, from despair, from lack of purpose and fulfillment. Alexander isn't great because he simply built an empire. He was great because he built an empire of strong, virile men. And he did all these things, and he fought for all these things because he knew the importance of not just maintaining virtue and power, but passing that virtue down to the powerless and granting them the mission to be powerful in their own lives. His mission, it lasted a mere 11 years before his untimely death, and yet in 11 years, he paved the way for the Hellenistic period, where Greek influence poured out over the East, leading to prosperity and progress in the arts, astrology, exploration, literature, theater, architecture, music, mathematics, philosophy, and science. 
but it also led to Alexandrian poetry and my personal favorite, new comedy. Good people who have traveled from villages near and far, lend me your ears. That's disgusting. As you remember Alexander's story, I want you to do so in the knowledge that the flame within your heart calling out from deep within you, that spark that yearns for a life that is not just content, not just okay, but one that is great. It is there for a real purpose. It's there to guide you home, to lead you into the legacy of your ancestors, to help pick you up when you fall and, and burn bright in the darkness and the despair of this flawed and imperfect world. And so long as you are here, so long as you draw breath, that dream once dreamt can be realized in you. So please, don't waste it. And don't waste this small piece of wisdom. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. <laughs>